All right, so we want to look at our Facebook pixels now. So the first thing we did is we put in the main Facebook pixel for the site. Let's go back to a products page or something here. And we can see also with our, oh, we don't need this on anymore. Google Tag Assistant, we're good. But Facebook Pixel Helper can tell us we've got a couple pixels running. I just put this one in, and I'll show you how. With Google Tag Manager, we've already got that running. Basically, we did a custom HTML tag in here, and we got our pixel from Facebook. I'll show you. So in our account, we went to Pixels, Setup Pixel with a Tag Manager, Google Tag Manager, and we copied this code right here, and we put that, let me move this over, we put that right in here. So this fires, and one thing they did tell us in Facebook is they say go to Advanced and make sure it's once per page. So we did that. And this triggers on all pages because we want our Facebook pixel on every page on our site. This one comes, uh, this trigger comes default with Google Tag Manager, so nothing to do there, nothing to edit. And we publish that, and now we can see it basically when we're on the site, when we go to different pages, Pixel Helper shows us our pixel is running. So that's good. We've got the general pixel for page view, and what we want is to get more specific to the level of add to cart clicks and things like that. And since we've got some of our triggers built in Google Tag Manager, we're ready to do that. So how can we go set up pixel? This is the general one, Google Tag Manager, event code. There we go. So step two in this, once you do your general one, is let's do it some events. And what we can do in there, they've got some of their top ones. So add to cart is one. And we're just going to add in. code right here. I don't know if we'll do the value on these, but let's do that. So let's say we've got a new tag now. Let's go add to cart. So we've got add to cart going to Google Analytics already. We need to also send that information to Facebook. So we can paste in our custom HTML. Just a note on that part. You know, Universal Analytics, a bunch of things are already in here. Facebook is not an option on Google Tag Manager yet, so we're just doing custom HTML. Paste this in. I'm not going to do the value because it varies, and we're not. Gonna, we're just not going to do that right now. I don't know if we even need that part. Let's see. If, let's see if it likes that. We'll fire this after the other. Hmm. Actually, I don't know if I want to do that. Because we have two, I might want the rest of the Facebook code here just because we've got two pixels running. Their old agency had one as well, we can see. And I don't want to send that information to that one. I want to make sure it's going to our pixel, so I'm not going to take any risks here. So I'm going to come back up to our, our base Facebook pixel, copy this, Go in here and add this, and then where we had page view, I'm going to take that part out, and I'm going to put in our add to cart. That way we know we're sending our information to our pixel when this happens. Okay, that looks good to me. Once per event is fine. And then we'll trigger it on the trigger we already made, which is the add to cart trigger. If we need to review that one, basically we found that when we... Listen for clicks with Google Tag Manager. We had these variables passed in. So we had the click text add to cart. Some of the other regular clicks, regular product click, also had add to cart in the text. So we couldn't just do product text equals. What we found though was the click class single add to cart button was true. So we said if it contains that, that will be our add to cart trigger. So this looks good. Let's test it out. Let's go preview debug. And 
now when we reload the page over here, we should get the Tag Assistant Helper. And I'm, now notice, so the main Facebook pixel is fired on the page. We've got a bunch of other tags now below this that have not fired. So we've got, at, we expect both of these ones, the Facebook and the Google Analytics, to jump up when I click Add to Cart. So I could be doing other clicks, nothing's happening. On a Mac, I do Command Click to open this in a new tab, and it does fire. Notice I hadn't selected an option yet. So people could click Add to Cart, and it still doesn't go in their cart. So it's not perfect, but I'm calling that close enough for our analytics. It's still valuable information just to see who's pushing that button. So the Facebook pixel did jump up. That looks good then. I think we can publish that one. And now Facebook will be getting information when people click that button. Add to cart a Facebook pixel event. Right? Publish that. And now when we do that, when we reload this with uh, preview and debug off, that won't open. But what we will see is, so our pixel has a normal page view here. We're clicking around the site, and we do the Add to Cart piece. And now we've got another Facebook pixel. This event just fired. So that's good. That's live on the site now, and that information is going to Facebook. Let's do another one then. What else we got? for events. Let's look at our basic ones. View content is an option. One thing about that is our product could be view content. Should we try that? I kind of like that. So if the, if the URL, t URL contains product, we could say they were looking at a product on the site. Let's, let's see if we can do that triggers, I'm just winging it here, viewed a product, page view, not all page views, some page view, page URL contains product or starts with, right? Let's try that. And then the tag could be Facebook, what's it called? View content, right? Yeah, I think so. Facebook view content, we'll call it. We'll do our HTML. And again, I will put in this, oops, what we need is Go back up and grab our base code. Copy that. Put this in here, and then we're going to swap out page view, and we're going to make it this specific event. View content, right? Copy that. Paste that. All right, that looks good. Let's save it. No trigger, thank you, Tag Manager. View to product. Save that. We can preview and debug to test. So now let's go to, say, the home page. All pixels firing, but Facebook view content is not firing, and then what happens when I go to a product page, including one of the hangers that hangs up these frying pans. Product is in here. What do we got? Moment of truth. Hey, it does not look like it worked. So I would expect view content to fire there, and we did not get it. So let's work on our trigger again. Let's see if we can get it right. Let's just try contains, maybe, and 
do preview and debug that way. Very finicky, very literal, so you just need to be patient. Try different variations. All right, we're in preview debug. Let's reload it. We're really hoping that so main Facebook pixel fires and all right, view content fires. That's a positive test. That's good. If we're going to product pages, then we're going to send the information to Facebook saying we're looking at product pages. We also need a negative test. Let's go to another page on the site and make sure it's not firing there. Good. I don't see it. It's on the not fired. So that one looks good then. What else can we get out of Facebook here? We did add a cart. Initiate checkout is probably a good one. Let's do that. I'll make that page based again, I would think. Based on proceed to checkout and the page it takes us to. It's like we could do the click or we could just do checkout. I'd say equals checkout because I think when we complete it then it adds to this URL. So I think that'll be our logic. Let's go. We really want to do begins with. Let's see if it works. Facebook checkout, I think is what Facebook calls it, right? Initiate checkout, okay. Page view, some page views, URL. I really want to do starts with, but it didn't work for us last time. Starts with won't do it, though. It needs to be equals, because once you complete checkout, it adds to the end of that. Okay, so that's our trigger for that. Here's our tag. Grabbing our base code one more time. Replacing the page view event with this one. She had check out right here. Great. Did we do a trigger? I see. I probably did not need to name the trigger Facebook, though. I'll come back to that. That's fine. What this really is is a view checkout page, right? So to really test this one thoroughly, we'd need to complete a purchase and make sure it's good. I don't know if I'm going to step through that here. We could just watch the analytics and see if this is discrepant from the number of people who complete. It's not a it's not a great test, but let's let's go with this. back to our cart. Tag a system opens. We've got to proceed to checkout. Oh, I don't see it. Initiate checkout. It's not liking that equals logic either. Okay, got this figured out. I had to look up regex, so I often have to review. So when we view a product, what we want to do is page URL. Oops, sorry, not view a product. I keep getting mixed up. When we view the checkout page. What we want to do is page URL matches regex, checkout, and then stop. And dollar sign should do that. So now when we test, we do preview and debug mode. I get the initiate checkout. And again, if I went a step beyond this and actually purchased it and added to this URL and said thank you for checkout complete, this should not fire because we've got the dollar sign there. Okay, so looking at our buyer's journey then, 
and what we're sending to Facebook. I think the last one we really need here is order receipt. We don't have went to cart page, but we do have add to cart click. I think that's all right. Let's do that a trigger then for order complete. I think page view can do this. Let's do some page view. Page URL contains order received should be good. All right. And we'll do our tag then. And what does Facebook call that? Purchase. That's good. Oops. just so we know. Got our custom HTML again. Let's grab that main Facebook code. Copy that. Swap out the page view. trigger it based on order complete. All right, we won't go through and test all that one, but I will publish our tag and then we can check to make sure that Facebook is receiving that after a couple days, make sure we're getting those.